The common name outside of the reports that I'm going to explain later is applicable to all the reports. Let's take sales analysis by document report for example. A screen similar to this will display when you come to all the reports. First of all, we need to define the filter option. There are basic filters, report options, and other options. Some reports may even have more options. Let's take a look on the basic filter. You can define the date. Just click on the uh, month and the day. For the filtering, there are three choices for us to choose. You can choose no filter, that means want to show everything. You can filter by range, that is from certain number to certain number continuously. Alternatively, you can filter by multi-select, which you can select any number of values, uh, such as status or items, not necessarily continuous code, and then you click on OK. For report options, there are checkboxes for you to choose either to show criteria in report, to show as a summary, to show description and grouping. You can have two levels of grouping here. Let's take a look on more options. Here provides you more filtering options. You can filter by more different fields. And also for some document options, you can choose to display what type of documents. After you are happy with the filter options, what you need to do is just click on inquiry. So the results are displayed. And look at the grid here. The grid here is similar to what I have explained in earlier chapter. You can right click to do sorting, grouping, column chooser, save the layout and export to other file format. Similarly, you can rearrange the sequence of appearance. If you are happy with this, you can go ahead to preview your report. Otherwise, you can redefine your filtering options. For example, I may want to show all for this time and select no filter and click on inquiry again. So all the uh, datas will be displayed. If I'm happy with the results, I will click on review. For some reports, there are different uh, report types for you to choose. You can just press button on your keyboard, 0 or 1, or you can just click on it, double click, or you can just click on OK to look at the report. Well, this is how the reports look like when you go to preview report. Look at the two bars. Here you can search. This is to send to print option to directly print. Set your page setup. Change to hand tools. This is to magnify. This is to zoom out and to zoom in. This button allows you to see uh, in multiple pages. For example, I may want to see two pages. So you will display two pages side by side. This is to set the color for the background of the report. This is to set the watermark of your report and this is to export your report to different file format, different document type and this button is for you to send email, to send fax. Similarly also apply to other reports. For example, ledger reports. See, it's almost the same layout. And click on preview. There are different report types for you to choose. For example, I choose the uh, standard ledger and click OK. You see the uh, standard two bars are the same. And if you move your cursor to the uh, figures and you can see there's a hand sign, that means you can click to drill in and you can see the original source. Let's look at other reports, statement reports. And this time you may want to select only a data, let's say a best phone. Then you inquiry. So only one data is being listed. Now click on the plus sign. You can see the uh, listing of transactions to fit into this statement according to the date range. When you see a plus sign, you can just click on it to see the details. And you may double click on any of the item to do down. And you can see the uh, source document contributed to this uh, amount. Click on preview. And there are several report types for you to choose. For example, I may want to choose the data statement for six months. So this is how the data statement look like. You can see the general buttons are the same. And you ever you see there's a hand sign okay, with your cursor, you can just click to see the details. So this is the common layout of uh, reports.